At the Boston Freedom Rally, Keith Stroop of Normal was interviewed by John Murphy, a Masked Normal uh, board member, on a live stream, and they were talking about the presidential election. Uh, before I really get into it, I just want to, you know, make a couple comments for everybody because everyone always seems to assume they know exactly how you feel about everything based on one, one or two statements. And I just want to put this out right out front. Yes, I was a Mascan uh, president of Mascan Normal at one point. I was also on the board of directors for ten years. I have worked with uh, Keith and Normal. Um, I haven't always gotten along and agreed 100%. I have made statements that I don't agree with normal in certain instances. Um, I've been attacked by some some pro-normal people because of that, um, which I kind of find humorous. Because on the other hand, there's a bunch of people on the other side who constantly attack Keith and normal, w which I think is uh, without basis and it's totally crude and rude and unjust and those folks seem to to call me a normal ass kisser and all this other BS which is totally ridiculous because I have been someone who does sometimes take uh, differing views I do stand alone and especially now um, the re one of the biggest reasons why I left Mass Can Normal leadership is because I wanted to be more independent I wanted to be able to speak for myself and not have people assume that I'm speaking for Mass Can Normal because I do often have a different viewpoint and opinion than other people. So having said that, uh, Keith made some statements at the Mass Can Normal Freedom Rally about the election upcoming. Um, John was asking him about the presidential election, whether he you know, supported Mitt Romney, whether he supported Obama, or whether he would support someone like Gary Johnson. Uh, Keith has for years, he has said something that uh, totally inspired myself and uh, gave me a, a great viewpoint on our role in politics and, and how we should be kind of working it. And what he said for years is that uh, you, you should never vote for somebody, never vote for someone, never support somebody who wants to arrest you for cannabis. And it's something that's really stuck to me, and it's uh, something that Keith made a pledge to do years ago, way before I was even involved in the movement. Um, and it's something that, you know, since Keith has been saying that, that I actually have pledged to. I, I, I do not vote for people who want to arrest me. You know, even if I agree on 99% of the other issues, I just can't do it. Um, having said that, with this election, there's obviously some, some, some tough choices to be made. Mitt Romney obviously does not support cannabis reform. He doesn't support medical marijuana at all. Uh, Barack Obama has said some great things uh, for our cause in the past. He's also uh, obviously a, a, a known past marijuana user. People know that he's used it. He hasn't really apologized for it, which we really like. You know, it's it's a good thing to have someone that's president that has used cannabis in the past and isn't all um, sorry about using it. You know, and not covering it up or hiding it. So you know, a lot of us do like that. But having said that, Barack Obama has not been good for medical marijuana. He has not been good for cannabis reform. Over and over again, he's ignored our questions on YouTube, on Twitter, on Reddit, on Dig, on all these different forums that he does. He, he just laughs and ignores us, uh, treats it like it's not an important issue. Well, Keith from Normal basically painted the picture that we should support Barack Obama because he is a better choice than Mitt Romney, and the election is about Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, and that Gary Johnson, he said, doesn't have a chance. Um, that might all be true, you know, and, and I kind of actually do agree with that. You know, Barack Obama is probably better on medical marijuana and cannabis than Mitt Romney. You know, even just, just in rhetoric, never mind actual, you know, public policy, what they actually do in office. Um, so, you know, in my opinion, I don't agree with all of Keith's statements. However, i got to give him a pass because in a way he is right. You know, you're, you're less likely to get locked up under a Barack Obama presidential administration than a Mitt Romney administration. We, I think we can all agree on that. But having said that, I still was a little, just a little bit disappointed by Keith because he's friends with, I knew he said he was friends with Gary Johnson. Um, we At the Boston Freedom Rally and many of the festivals and conferences that we've been doing, Gary Johnson especially and especially his running mate, Judge Jim Gray, have been speaking. Um, Judge Jim Gray from the Boston Freedom Rally stage this year actually shouted out normal and said I support normal 
You know, that, that, you're never going to see that from Barack Obama. You know, that, that is going above and beyond, and that's what I like to see from candidates. I like to see them supporting our cause, and not just with uh, words, but actually calling out the organizations out there that are doing the good work like normal. So, you know, my message to Keith a little bit is support Gary Johnson a little more. You don't have to tell people to vote for him 100%. You can say it's okay to vote for Barack. But let's not paint that a, a vote for Gary is a wasted vote, that he has no chance. Because the truth of it is, there is a good chance that Gary Johnson could get 5% in the polls. And if he gets 5% in the polls, that means federal matching money for the Libertarian Party going forward, that they will be an official party, that they get official recognition, that maybe next year, you know, next next cycle in four years, 2016, Gary Johnson comes back and runs again, and now he's got a lot of funding, and now he gets into the debates. You know, I look at this as a long-term fight, and I think the Libertarian Party and the Green Party, Jill Stein, they bring this issue to the forefront for us. The more that we can do to get them media and money, the better, because th that puts the pressure on Obama. That puts the pressure on Mitt Romney. That puts the pressure on these two major parties. So you know, and especially in Massachusetts, where Keith was, Keith was given this interview in Boston, Mass. A vote for Obama doesn't do anything. Obama's going to win. He won, I think, by about a million votes in Massachusetts last time around four years ago. So there's no chance that he's going to lose in Massachusetts with the electoral collage, I can't even say it, with the electoral collage, or whatever you want to call it, with the electoral politics and the way it works in, in, in this country, winner takes all with each state in the, in the general election, in the presidential election. So we know, we know Obama has Massachusetts 100% in his pocket. It's not in question. Neither one of those, neither Mitt Romney or Obama are going to be campaigning here to try to win any votes because they know it's already been decided in Massachusetts. Barack Obama is going to win all the all, all. He's going to win everything in Massachusetts. Not even a question. If you live in New Hampshire, hey, it's a different story. That state is actually in contention. Your vote could actually make a difference. But in Massachusetts, I think the only vote that makes a difference is to vote for either Gary Johnson or Jill Stein. And that's voting for legalization. That's making them know that you care about other issues that aren't being addressed. It also helps, hopefully, them to get either party to get to 5%. If the Greens or Libertarians get to 5%, they get that federal matching money. Your vote will make a big difference. So, you know, having said all of this, you know, I don't always agree with Normal. I don't always agree with Keith Stroop. And uh, I think he's wrong on this, you know. However... I have a lot of respect for Keith. Keith. Keith is someone that got me out into this movement. The Boston Freedom Rally, I feel, wouldn't even exist today if it hadn't been for Keith founding Normal. I think Keith, with all the work that he's done for our cause, deserves a great deal of respect. And even when I have issues with him, even when I don't agree, I'm always going to give him that sort of respect because it's deserved. Um, I feel like a lot of people in this movement don't have any respect. They disagree with someone, and they're instantly calling them all kinds of names and, 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 and things that just do not ring true, that are not truthful. Keith Stroop has received a lot of insults this year in the media. Uh, someone in, in Washington State at the Seattle Hemp Fest recently called him a, uh, a scumbag, I believe it was, or, or no, sleazy. What? That, that's bullshit. So I just want to point that out, that I can disagree with somebody but I don't need to call them names. And uh, Keith deserves a lot of respect, but I just don't agree with him on this. Gary Johnson, 2012. And uh, if you're progressive and you can't support Gary Johnson, you don't agree with me on that stuff, support Jill Stein, 2012. That's the way you need to vote for president in Massachusetts. That's my recommendation. That's who I'm endorsing, those two campaigns, and especially Gary Johnson, because I feel like he has the best chance of getting 5%. And I agree with all, a lot of, not all, but a lot of his other policies. I agree with Gary Johnson over any other candidate in the race. So, Gary Johnson, 2012. And uh, I love Joe Jim Gray. I can't wait to see him again this weekend. We're going to see him tomorrow at 10 a.m. at Suffolk University Normal. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. He's out for our cause. This campaign, Gary Johnson 2012, is all about marijuana reform. So, got to support it, got to vote for it. And uh, I just want to thank everyone for supporting me and all the new subscribers we have on YouTube, all the people I met at the Freedom Rally. 
and all my old friends too. You know, it's it's really nice to see now that I've gone independent. I can really start to see who are my real friends, who are my real supporters, and get back to that. That's what I that's what I love about this new role for me. You know, a lot of times in the past I didn't know. You know, is people wanted favors, people wanted to p perform at the Freedom Rally, they wanted this or that, they wanted you know something from me. And and today it's less about they want something for me from me and that they just want to straight up support me and I, I really am happy about the situation I'm in and uh, this upcoming election yeah I don't think Gary Johnson's gonna win but I think we can win five percent and win some federal matching money get a lot of press get a lot of media continue to move this legalization movement we're gonna win medical amass we're registering voters so much is going on I'm very excited about this election November 6th. If you're not registered to vote right now, you better get registered because the deadline is fast approaching.